back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a test shoot um, with a model from One Model Management. Her name is Robin. And I was actually loaned a few pieces of equipment from KH, um, which I'm sure if you are listening to this um, or watching this on YouTube rather, uh, you have heard of KEH because I feel like a lot of people use them. I personally have been using KEH for years. This video is not technically sponsored, but I did get these pieces loaned to me for the duration of the shoot, maybe a few others possibly. Excited to be shooting with the Contact 645. I love the Fuji 645 and I talk about it constantly on this channel, but I find that um, I'm limited by the fact that it's only a point and shoot camera. There are some manual settings that I personally haven't explored too much, but this you can switch out the lenses. There's a lot more capability here, which I really love. Um, and I'm excited to shoot with it for the first time ever. And then this little bad boy, who's so cute, I feel like I'm just <laughs> bundled with my little cameras. Um, this is a little, uh, I feel like this is limited. It was like 20,000 cameras were only made. Um, it's aluminum, it was made in Japan and really fun little point and shoot camera. I like shooting with multiple cameras at the same time. So I figured this would be fun to kind of throw in and experiment with um, along the way. And yeah, we are gonna be shooting with my friend Kelly Augustine is gonna be styling. Christian, who you guys have met, um, is gonna be on hair and makeup. And I'm really excited to get shooting. And welcome to my new studio, by the way. Welcome back to my apartment. I am filming this for the second time just because I'm not sure what's happening with my 
cameras right now. I've been having some issues with filming. So if you notice that there wasn't great quality film clips for the last look, it's because I couldn't figure out what my camera was doing. So here we are. Anyway, I am back in my apartment and it's been a few weeks since the shoot happened. And I'm honestly really obsessed with these images. I feel like I'm like addicted to these cameras. Um, the 645 especially, I mean, it's just an insanely amazing camera. I feel like the quality of the negatives were stunning. I am just in love with it. I love that it is has a lot of auto features because I do feel like I was kind of comparing it against the Mamiya RZ67. And I found that because of the auto features, it definitely was a lot more user friendly in a fashion capacity. Like I feel like I generally shoot a lot of fashion so the majority is fashion and i'm moving quickly and i have to kind of get the shot without a lot of like focusing um so the fact that it has quick focusing capabilities is amazing and it's just like i mean the one thing is it's very heavy like this is a big camera but i love that everything can be switched out this is a 45 millimeter i don't know the equivalent to a dslr or like a canon um so i'm not positive in terms of that but it's very wide i definitely was noticing that most of the shots were like more wide than i thought they were going to be but i kind of really enjoy a wide shot in studio especially because you can kind of see the scape of the set um and i love that you can switch out the backs i only have one back obviously i am borrowing both of these cameras from keh which if you are not familiar with keh this video is not technically sponsored but they did loan me both of these cameras i have them for two months which is amazing i initially was only going to have them for a month but i fell in love with this camera and i didn't have a ton of time to really shoot a lot of personal work last month i have been busy thankfully i am very thankful for that um been doing a lot of work that hopefully should be coming out soon for um, a few editorials and some like e-com and a lot of model tests so uh, unfortunately all of that was nothing that I could you know bring along a video crew or um, kind of do a collaboration with so I was excited that I was actually approached by one management and um, we shot with Robin who if you are not familiar with Robin she is i'm gonna link everyone's info down below but she is i would say she is one of the first plus size supermodels and she has lost quite a bit of weight um over the years she's probably um definitely a smaller plus now probably i think she's like a six eight so it's definitely on the lower scale of the curve board for um one management you guys can look up her information but um she has dealt with a lot of health issues over the years so that's a large portion of the reason why but also the industry has changed when she started with plus um modeling that was the you know considered a plus model and now it's changed like i'm a plus model i just signed with an agency i feel like you know you're having 20 size 24 22 um but really like when she started it was a huge turning point in terms of um the sort of representation that was happening with sizes so i was really excited to work with her um and kelly augustine who was a stylist was I could just tell she was super nervous and really excited to work with her just because she does have such a, um, you know, she had such an impact and continues to have such an impact in this industry. And so it was just really lovely to work with her. Um, she was a pro. Every shot was amazing. I had a, such a hard time going through these negatives. I feel like I just couldn't narrow down. Uh, Christian, as always, did amazing. We did run over a little bit. Um, I do think I forget that for editorials like this and when you know she had a lot of hair, we definitely probably should have had Jay, who you guys have met before, um, doing hair so Christian could focus on makeup. Um, but I'm just so happy with all of these. I think they came out amazing. And this little guy too was a shocker i'm so surprised how great these images were they were really really sharp i felt like nothing was out of focus that i saw um and i will say it's completely manual i mean completely auto so the flash you can't override it flashes when it wants to um and i found that the exposure for pretty much everything was dead on there was some that were a little dark but we were kind of shooting like farther back 
um, in the studio a little bit away from the windows. I think that if I was going to do it again, I would probably have situated us with the windows on this side or on the left or right of the model and then have the V flats here on the other side just to kind of really reflect back. Um, didn't think about it and it was kind of, uh, a little difficult at some points with the lighting just because I was shooting entirely on film, but this little guy handled it. And I mean, this six, four, five, every shot looked beautiful in terms of exposure. Um, and the digital shots, which we will um, be, you know, kind of um, maybe we'll show a few here at the end um, as well. Came out a beautiful, I'm obsessed with the close ups that we got. Um, I think the like headshots were stunning and I am just really happy with this overall shoot. Um, I am just so excited to be continuing to start doing a few more of these. I want to start filming more um, here now that I'm ba based back in Brooklyn and also have access to my studio. So if you guys have any suggestions on what you would like to see, definitely comment below. And thank you again to KEH for loaning me these cameras. I'm really excited to be continuing to work with them as a female um, photographer here on YouTube. It was really exciting to have that opportunity just because the majority of the influencers that I see, they get a lot of tech stuff are generally men, which is fine. There are a lot of men here on YouTube. So having um, the opportunity as a woman uh, was amazing. So yeah, that's it. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.